are so excited to be here in uh, in, uh, in uh, New Hampshire and, and campaigning with this exciting and, and dynamic leader. I, I just came here because I want to say I was from Marilinda Garcia before it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> For, uh, really, and I have to tell you, it really, really touches my heart because the first time we ran uh, for Congress uh, back, it was actually back in 1988, I was around year age. And we were unsuccessful, it would take us about 12 years uh, before we had the opportunity to serve in the Congress of the United States, but it was the second district. So uh, I, I think that might be a little bit of a sign. This woman is going to Congress and she is taking great You heard once again the, the, the strong conviction and the strong voice that, that Marilyn de Garcia is going to bring to Capitol Hill. I just I want to tell all of you, in, in the few minutes that we have together, that Karen and I hope to meet as many of you as we can before we head off to uh, uh, another little event. We're going to be we're going to be standing by Walt and uh, doing all we can to help with the Republican Governor Association to elect another Republican Governor of New Hampshire. having a person of talent and conviction can mean on Capitol Hill. Because I, I lived through a very interesting season on Capitol Hill. Sometimes it was a very challenging time. I arrived uh, shortly after the 2000 election. I would serve there for 12 years. And sometimes I tell people if I only had 12 years left to live, I'd want to live it as a member of Congress. Because that was the longest 12 years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a rewarding time, but it was a challenging time. I mean, I watched our party walk away from the common sense conservative ideals that Marilyn de Garcia embraces and embodies in those first six years. I remember, I remember watching our party uh, pass you know, the, the, the largest expansion of the Federal Department of Education. Jimmy Carter formed it in No Child Left Behind. Uh, I watched our party pass a massive expansion of, of Medicare and prescription drug entitlement. I remember I was leading House Conservatives at the time, Maryland, and I, 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 saw, uh, I saw our party as a, as a tall ship with a strong captain that, that, that it veered imperceptibly off course into the dangerous and uncharted waters of big government republicanism. And I feared that there, was, uh, that there were icebergs ahead. And there were. 2006, things happened, and it wasn't all about uh, it wasn't all about the big spending on Capitol Hill. But I'll always believe in my heart that that was a big part of it. That people that had essentially lost faith with that revolution of republicanism that began in 1994. Shortly after that, I had the opportunity, having having been a backbench conservative, I had the opportunity to serve in Republican leadership. I was part of the leadership team that retired Speaker Nancy Pelosi in 2010. We did it on Capitol Hill because we came back. We came back to, to the promotion and the embrace of common sense conservative ideals. And it's exactly what Marilyn Garcia is all about. And I want to tell you that you know there's the, that, that you know there's a lot of frustration still when we look at Capitol Hill. But I want to tell you that that, that this majority in the House of Representatives, which in just a few short days will be joined by a Republican majority in the United States Senate when Harry Reid is retired. Garcia, uh, combining with other great conservative voices in the House and the Senate, uh, our party is going to continue to steer back, to steer back to that, uh, to, to the limited government principles of, 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 of balanced budgets, a strong America in the world, uh, and a respect for common sense and common values that made this country great. But make no mistake about it, one person can make an immense amount of difference on Capitol Hill. And I'm really just here to ask you in the second Congressional District of New Hampshire to understand what an extraordinary opportunity that you have to elect Marilyn de Garcia. She's a proven legislator. She's 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 served with her colleagues uh, here. She she knows what it is to go out and deliver a message. And on, on Capitol Hill, the ability for an individual with her talents and her capabilities to step forward and have almost an immediate impact 
as, as a leading voice on Capitol Hill cannot be, uh, it cannot be diminished. And, and, I'm, and I just, I want to tell all of you that, that, uh, that this is the time, this is the moment in this district to send the kind of leadership that really will represent the Granite State with, with conviction, with clarity, uh, and with the kind of distinction you heard even this morning. I mean, it's amazing for me to, to be here with her today, inside of two weeks from Election Day, and uh, Karen and I walked up and said, you look great. Uh, I mean, she, 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 hold on. This, this is somebody that can stand in the pocket uh, and, and, uh, and, and deliver a message in the midst of a, of a crazy campaign season and still do that with dignity. And, and when I see that kind of strength, I know that Marilyn De Garcia is going to be an impact leader in the House of Representatives oh. from the very day she arrived. before do more. Okay? I mean, this is a tight race. It truly is. And the other side is going to do everything that they possibly can uh, to reelect the congressman. And, and so uh, I, 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 I just would encourage you, uh, if you have additional if you have additional resources, make them available to make sure that Marilyn Garcia's message can be out and be delivered and, and, can, and can break through uh, the, the, the fog of uh, political rhetoric that will be surrounding the campaign in the next, uh, in the next uh, week and a half. And the second thing I would tell you, even, and I would say even, even more importantly than that, that your treasure is your time. I mean, when I see this brigade at the back table, <laughs> did you say this is the Peters family? Yeah. I've got to get a shot with the Peters family. This is amazing. <laughs> It's a very, very intimidating platoon back there. <laughs> I mean, I, I would tell you, and I really do believe this, you know, because I, the first, I actually lost my first two campaigns for Congress and, uh, did, and ended up working in, in uh, I was in a policy group in Indiana, and then I actually worked in radio and television for about six years before uh, the good Lord opened the door again for us to stand for one more time. It's one of the things Newt Gingrich and I have in common other than the color of our hair. <laughs> it took Newt Gingrich three times to get to Congress. It took me that many times as well. But but there in a in a very real sense, what I learned along the way and what I learned what I learned when I ran for governor of Indiana was elected two years ago, um, is that uh, that at, at, at the end of the day it's not about the polls, it's not about the pundits, it's not about it's not about the television commercials or all of what's in the campaign. It's really about neighbors talking to neighbors. And it's about messaging. And so my challenge to each one of you is, if you hear this, this clarion call for a stronger America at home and abroad that was expressed this morning at the podium, and, and, and obviously getting up on this morning and coming out to this event, you're obviously someone that feels strongly about Mary Linda Garcia. But I want you to I want you to take I want you to take that message and I want you to uh, I want you to carry that message forward to people. And say really and truly, I mean, the key for us going forward as a nation uh, is is to go and, and to win these elections and, and to send people who can lead with that with that courage of conviction that you heard again this morning in the well of the Congress uh, as we as we as this year we take back uh, the Congress of the United States. And as we win back the nation two years from now, it's going to be on the basis of our message and the courage of our candidates. And the second thing I would say to all of you is, remember, all the advertising in the world is not to be compared with someone hearing from someone that they know and they trust in their neighborhood, at work, at home. I mean, I, I would just tell you, leave from here and ask yourself, have I really told everyone in my circle, in my sphere of influence, how strongly I feel about Marilyn Garcia? Have I really, and, and just send along a note, and just, you know, begin with a thing that says, you know, there's a lot of, you're hearing a lot of other things and a lot of political rhetoric. I just want to tell you, I know this person, and, and I know her character, and I know her values, and, and I want to encourage you to get out and to get out to vote and to support her. I mean, I, you know, whether it's, go to your whole email list, okay? I mean, if you know how to Instagram, for heaven's sake, tweet if you must. <laughs> <laughs> now, and I say that because, you know, my mom, 
we're all without excuse here in the age of social media, aren't we? We have thousands and thousands of people that are in our sphere of influence at home and at work and, and through our communities of faith. And I just encourage you to do that because the reality is that, that um, uh, at the end of the day, democracy is not a spectator sport. Uh, and it's not about what a candidate is doing. It's about what the people that are supporting the candidate are doing. And so I want to encourage you, leave this morning excited and enlivened once again. Uh, go out and work your hearts out in all the time that you have remaining between now and election day to make sure that everyone who knows you knows how important it is to make sure that Congresswoman Marylinda Garcia is sworn in in January of 2015 in the new Congress of the United States. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cooked.